Have you ever wondered how you can take your Excel sheet that sits on the OneDrive and create a Python data app? All you need to achieve this data app on the browser is an internet connection and a web browser. That is it. You copy this code that's going to be under the video. You put it into this uh, browser right here in the terminal and you update or you modify line 16 with your own Excel sheet share link and then you'll get this beautiful data app directly on the browser with Dash AG Grid, which is like Excel on steroids, and a Plotly Express graph or many graphs. I'm going to show you how to quickly build this data app with your own Excel sheet on the OneDrive. So let's get started with a fresh look. We're going to go to the browser. We'll click on wasm-versil.app. This is going to be under the video and just load it. It takes about 10 to 15 seconds for the first time and you'll get this first uh, example app, but we don't need it. We're not going to use this app. We're going to erase everything and we're going to install or we're going to copy the code from uh, GitHub under the video. Go to this code right here, getting started app.py, copy everything, control C and then paste it right here. Save and run. And here we have our data app that sits on that's using our Excel sheet or my Excel sheet that sits here on my OneDrive space mission, space mission. Now what you want to do so you get your own Excel sheet is go to your OneDrive right here and go into your Excel sheet, open it up. Once you save your Excel sheet on OneDrive, open it and go to share, share. And instead of the regular link, I want to share a link that for everybody, but we that not that they can edit, but that they can view. They want to allow everybody to edit, just view. So copy, copy. And here on line 16, just replace the code or the, the string with this URL, save and run. And now we'll have our app. You should see your own app with within Dash AG Grid and the Plotly Express histogram. Now let's take the next two minutes to explain the, the powerful things that you can do with Dash AG Grid. This is a great article written by Plotly Dash community member Anne Marie, and it gives a very good introduction to the power of Dash AG Grid. First, you need these two lines of code, row data and column data to define the row data and the column data of your Dash AG Grid. And this is right here. I just copied it from right here. Now, the next thing you need to do, or you can do, is on hashtag control question mark this, and this column attribute, save and run, is going to fit the table or a grid inside inside our um, inside our app, right? So now everything we don't have we don't have to scroll the y axis right or left. Everything fits. We can move our column. We can resize them, but everything should fit within this window. All right. Another thing you can do with Dash AG Grid is you can filter specific columns. So I'm going to update the column definition attribute or property instead of this. I'm going to copy paste. And now you'll see that we're only going to have two columns, our mission column. This is the name of the column header, our company column, and the filter of the mission will be true. So now I can filter it. I can filter the mission and only have missions that maybe begin with wise. Let's put wise. There we go. We have one or missions that begin with S E S, right? And here we have a few missions and so on and so on. So here we put filter or only one column or two or whatever we decide. But if you scroll down this um, article, you can see that we can choose to put filter on all columns instead of one by one. We'll do control Z, go back like this, copy, save and run, control S. And now you'll see that all columns come with this built-in filter. And what's cool about Dash AG Grid is that it recognizes the column data type. If it's a string, it's going to be this type of filters. If it's, um, if it's a price, if it's um, uh, uh, integers, numbers, it'll be this type of uh, filters, equals, greater than, less than. And if it's a true false kind of thing, like here success, then it'll be this kind of filters. Only the false ones or only the true ones or or both. 
So awesome, the, the capabilities of Dash Age you get filter. I'm telling you, it's like Excel, but on steroids. Let's take another example. Let's say we want to uh, change grid options pagination. Right here, we have everything, all the columns are on, all the rows are on this page, right? But let's say it's too many rows. I don't want to scroll through all of them. I can do comma. I can add dash grid options equals and pagination true, save and run. And now you'll see that automatically it comes with the page size, either 100, 20, or 50. So this is how many rows you'll see on each page. 20 rows, meaning we have 61 pages. If we want to see 100 rows per page that we can scroll through, now we have 14 different pages that we can, that we can scroll through and continuously filter to see the data. Another example. This is something that you can format cells with. For example, the price here is just numbers, but what if you want to make them look like uh, dollars, right? Because this is the value. You can do this with this line of code. Let's see an example uh, right here. Default column definition. We're going to say editable true. Let's go back. Default column definition right here. Instead, in, in addition to filter, we're going to say editable true save and run and now I can edit all columns that I want to edit the success I can make it true or false uncheck the box price I can change the number and if it's a you know if it's a string I can change it to <laughs> anything else that I want right this is how I edit my Excel sheet last but not least we have our plotly graphing library so we've done a few things with our dash age of grid and now we want to include uh, a graph so here we have the Plotly Express histogram that highlights on the x-axis the first column. What if I want to make this a bar chart? The x will be the same column, but the y will make it um, prices. I want to see the price. So y equals price. Control S to save and run. And now you'll see that instead of a histogram, we have a bar chart with the cumulative price uh, spent, either expenses or budget, I'm not sure, or SpaceX or Arian Space, and so on and so on. You can see many different uh, Plotly uh, graphs that you can create. All you have to do is go to the Plotly Graphing Library, and you'll see over 100 different charts that you can plug into your uh, Dash app uh, to visualize your Excel sheet. Always remember, we're better together, so help each other out. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications, and I'll see you next week with another tutorial. Bye-bye.